In this video, we will be discussing about errors of refraction. So in the introduction of the, this answer, you have to write about what normal vision or emmetrope is. So eyes with normal refractive power is called an emmetropic eye. So if this is the eye, a normal eye will be able to see a far object. That means it will be able to converge parallel rays coming from a far object onto its retina. And what about near object? Such normal eyes will be able to focus normal uh, rays coming from the near object and converge it into the retina. Okay. So first you have to write what the normal vision is. Then we have to write about the errors of refraction. So any deviation in the refractory power from normal condition is called ametropia. So ametropia is of four types. Myopia, hypermetropia, astigmatism and presbyopia. So let's see each one by one. So the first one is myopia. Myopia means short sightedness. So in myopia, parallel rays from a distant object is brought to focus in front of the retina. Okay. So if this is a myopic eye, parallel rays which are coming from a far object is brought to focus in front of the retina. See, so such myopic people will not be able to see distant object clearly. That is why they are called short sighted because they can only see short uh, objects that are at a shorter distance. Okay. So now let's see the causes of myopia. So the first cause is axial myopia, which means it may, the myopia might be due to an abnormally long eyeball. That is why the image is the, the focus is in front of the retina. The second cause is positional. That means it might be because of an anteriorly placed lens. Then index myopia, that means the lens is too strong, so it is converging more. That is why the image is being formed in front of the retina. And the fourth one is curvature myopia, that means the lens is more curved. So see the three causes, out of the four, the three causes are regarding the lens. Either the position, that means anterior place lens, or the refractory index, or the curvature. Okay, so these are the four causes of myopia. So it can be remembered as epic. Axial, positional, index and curvature. So now we should know how to correct this myopia. So the correction can be done by biconcave lens. So for a myopic eye, when, far, uh, when rays from a far object reaches the eye, if we give a biconcave lens, it will be able to converge these points onto the retina itself. Okay, so that is the correction of myopia. Now let's see about the second type of uh, ametropia which is hypermetropia. Hypermetropia means far sightedness. So for such, such individuals, parallel rays of light coming from infinity are focused behind the retina. In the other one it was in front of the retina, here it is behind the retina with accommodation being at rest. So for such people, for far objects it is easier for them. They will try to accommodate and they will somehow see it clearly. But for near object, it will be difficult. So for such people, if it is a near object, the rays, the focus will be behind the retina. Okay. So that is why they can see far objects. That is why it is called far sightedness. Okay. And uh, it will be difficult to see the nearer objects. Next, we will see the causes of hypermetropia. So here the terms are somewhat the same. The first one is axial hypermetropia. That means there is a shortening of eyeball. Okay, so that is why the image is being formed behind the retina. Next is positional. So here the lens might be posterior. There is a posterior displacement of lens. And that is why the image is being formed behind the retina. Next one is index hypermetropia. That means the lens might be too weak, especially seen in old age. Or it, it can be curvature hypermetropia. That means the curvature of the cornea or the lens or both is more flatter than the normal. Okay. You so say you can see that all these are just the opposite of that of myopia. But basically the code can be the same. That is epics. Axial, positional, index and curvature. Okay. So now we have to see how to correct this. So this can be corrected by a biconvex lens. So when for a hypermetropic eye we keep a by convex lens, the rays can be brought to the brought to focus by exactly the retina itself. Okay, so that was about hypermetropia. 
Next we have astigmatism. See in astigmatism there is a difference in the refractive power in two principal meridian of the eye. That means it, there, the, there is difference in the refractive power in different meridia of the eye. So it can be vertical or horizontal and it is corrected by a cylindrical lens. So see if this is an astigmatic eye, if it is a far object, it will be brought to focus at different points. It will have different focal points on the retina. Okay. And so this is corrected with the help of a cylindrical lens. Next you have to write about presbyopia. So presbyopia is a decrease in the power of accommodation. That means as a near point is receding, near point is going far away. So if this is a normal eye, we know that for normal eye the near objects can be brought to focus by accommodation. But in presbyopia this power of accommodation is lost. So what are the causes of it? The causes are it can be due to the loss of elasticity of the lens or it can be due to denaturation of the lens protein. So the lens becomes very hard. So it cannot converge the rays properly. Okay. So that is meant by presbyopia. So how will you correct it? We will correct it by giving a spectacles with convex lens for near vision. Okay. So for an errors of refraction we have talked about ametropia and ametropia. In ametropia we have got four types which are myopia which is short sightedness see the word myopia is also short right so it is short sighted short sightedness and hypermetropia astigmatism and presbyopia and you have to draw these diagrams for the exam so i hope the concept is clear and you know what to write for the exam thank you